Good evening, honoured guests, students, parents and teachers. I am delighted to welcome you here tonight to our class of 2018 graduation ceremony. Another year has passed and another group of amazing young people have finished their journey at BIST and are sitting here tonight. You will take a look at them tonight and think to yourself what a proud and amazing bunch of people they are. They have journeyed through their time with us at BIST and they have learnt many things along the way. You will take with you many enduring memories of your time at BIST and I am sure you will look back with fondness about your time with us. Graduation ceremonies are always such wonderful occasions, the culmination of months, if not years, of hard work. <coughs> the actualization of goals attained and the public acknowledgement of success achieved. The one aspect <coughs> of your life that both your parents and your teachers at BIS may not have fully prepared you for is failure. Some failure in your lives will be inevitable. It is impossible to live your life without failing, unless you live so cautiously that you might not as well have lived at all, in which case you have failed by default. Failure will give every single one of you graduates a lesson that you cannot forget. Failure in life will make you tough. Failure in life will make you stronger as an individual. As the great Albert Einstein once said, failure is simply success in progress. Regret hurts far more than fear. Don't spend the rest of your lives thinking about why you didn't do what you can do right now. Live your lives, take risks, never be afraid to try something new or to do something different. And finally, a very, very simple final word of wisdom. Do not take anything in your lives for granted. Make sure you appreciate what you have while you still have it. Good luck, my graduates. Please do stay in touch and share your future success in all that you do and throughout your life. I wish you the very best. So to the Bronze Grove students in front of me here today, in the future, Instead of taking out loans to purchase fancy cars and expensive clothes, save your money and invest it and watch it grow. As the more you have, the more you can give. And as you grow, you'll realize the definition of success changes. For me, the most important thing in life now is to live it with happiness and integrity. To live life as an honest and compassionate person and more importantly, to contribute in some way. Be ready for life's challenges. There will be plenty of curveballs and googlies. There will be times when life will very cruelly take away your dreams and you will need to find new ones. There will be times when life humbles you and you can't find a job and you will need to travel halfway across the world to find one. <coughs> There will be times when you will not be the smartest, the best looking, or the most well-connected person in the room. But you have to figure out a way to overcome these obstacles and work even harder. And as the headmaster mentioned in his speech, you will experience failure. Get ready for it. It will happen. But your ability to find a way to bounce back up and overcome these failures will determine how successful and how happy you become in the future. So to conclude my conclusion, follow your passion. Stay true to yourself. Never, never follow anyone else's path unless you are alone in the woods and you're lost and you see a path. Then by all means, you should follow that path. I wish you all much success and happiness in the next stage of your lives. Congratulations on your graduation from Brums Grove today. This is a wonderful milestone for you all.
graduate here tonight has experienced high school in our own way, where we've all had a fair share of proud moments and disappointments. It seems like only yesterday, where we transitioned into secondary school, we were clueless of where or what our next class was going to be, because all of a sudden, we had a different classroom for each subject. And now, we're in our gowns and caps, graduated and ready to move on to our next chapter. I sincerely hope that we all meet our full potentials, because just imagine how thankful your parents will be when you pay them back. <laughs> By fulfilling our hopes, dreams, and ambitions, the future is truly in our hands, so let's make the most out of it. Today is a very important day for us, <laughs> and I'm truly honored to speak on behalf of the class of 2018 on this very special day. <clears throat> the day has finally arrived. I have lived and learned at Bronx Grove for almost seven years, and I still remember the first time I arrived at Winter Park. I tried to imagine a much smaller and much timid Peter, who could speak practically zero English, trying to navigate his way around school and boarding. I had to rely on my friend Nick to translate for me uh, almost all day every day. Today I'm standing here giving you a graduation speech in English. Twelve year old me would have never believed this path. Rome's Road means a lot to me. I have spent my teenage years at this school. I have met many different people and learned lots of new things. Of course, there are some bad memories which I won't share with you today. But overall, the memories are generally good. Class of 2018. I am sure each and every one of you has an ambitious plan ahead for your life. It might be to become a doctor, a dentist, a pilot, or even the most successful sports management um, agent in the world, that is me. <laughs> one of the greatest basketball players and my personal favorite, Michael Jordan, once said, obstacles don't have to stop you. If you're running to a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Yes, we will face difficulties. There is no doubt. But I wish that all we, we all continue to overcome any barriers in the future that set us back or challenge us. We will all have our own struggles, but I'm sure we will defeat them. I still can't believe that I'm leaving the school. Rome's Grove has been my home. Teachers have been my parents. And students have been my family. Leaving Bronx Grove feels like I'm leaving my hometown. But we are leaving changed for the better and we're moving forward to achieve our dreams. On behalf of the class of 2018, I would like to thank all of our teachers, parents, and friends for supporting us all the way. Congratulations, class of 2018. It is finally time for us to move on and become even greater. Thank you.